The cinematic MCU adventure of 2022 started last Friday when Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, or for short Doctor Strange 2, and it was a very trippy affair with big implications for the future of the MCU. The Disney Plus MCU shows also got started with Moon Knight which ended last week, so what's next? In this video we're going to be counting down all the MCU 2022 releases as well as some interesting ones beyond. By the by, I'm the movie guy and let's start this list. Miss Marvel on June 8th. The next superhero will be on Disney Plus as Disney are introducing a new superhero, Miss Marvel. Kamala Khan is a teen with polymorphous powers that basically means that she can extend her limbs, alter her appearance and even shapeshift. Iman Vellani makes her debut to acting in the role of the superhero and oh my god that is amazing. Ms. Marvel is going to get a theatrical premiere in Pakistan and there are a few Bollywood stars such as Farkar Akhtar. Come June 8th you can stream the series on Disney Plus and get lost into a new superhero storyline after the excellent Moon Knight. Thor Love and Thunder July 8th After years of planning and building up the story to the eventual moment when Jane will take up Thor's mantle, the big blow-off is slated for July 8th release. Thor enlists Valkyrie, Korg and Jane Foster to fight Gord the God Butcher. Christian Bale makes his MCU debut as Gord the Bad Guy. The Guardians of the Galaxy are also going to make an appearance according to IMDb. There is this amazing scene in the trailer where Jane picks up Mjolnir and everyone went crazy for it. So I think that if they do right by Natalie, she can definitely be a worthy Thor. Taika Waititi will direct it following up the excellent Ragnarok and it's safe to say that expectations are pretty high. Black Panther Wakanda Forever November 11th. There is a pretty big long break between Thor and Black Panther 2 which I find a bit surprising. 2021 felt a bit more crowded with MCU releases than this year. Still Black Panther Wakanda Forever might just be worth the wait. It's interesting to see where the MCU go after Chadwick Boseman's premature death. While King T'Challa is not the only interesting character in the Wakanda lore, it does feel like it is missing something. Not much of anything is known about this movie except maybe the cast list with actors Daniel Kaluuya, Letitia Wright, Martin Freeman, Lupita Nyong'o and more returning. Namor, the leader of Atlantis, is set to be the main antagonist in Black Panther. Hopefully he will beat the curse of the poorly written MCU villains. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, December 2022. The exact release date for this Disney Plus TV episode is currently unknown. Yes, I've said episode. This one is just going to be a 40 minute long episode starring the familiar favorites alongside the director James Gunn, a man very capable of handling something like this. With the Guardians appearing in Thor Love and Thunder, the main role of this episode is to bridge a narrative gap between Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. James Gunn has gone on and said that a new character will get introduced in the holiday special, with some sources pointing at Adam Warlock, created by the Sovereign to destroy the Guardians. She Hulk 2022. She Hulk's release date is currently unknown. I would expect it to be released in the last week of October or first week of November to go along with Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That is if it even gets released this year. She Hulk is a Disney Plus television show which has already fans buzzing about the prospect of seeing She Hulk in action. Tatiana Maslany will play the big green beast, Mark Ruffalo will be brought back, Tim Roth too, he will play Abomination, the character that he played in 2008, The Incredible Hulk, and Jamila Jamil is also casted as the rival of She-Hulk, Titania. For some reason, this is my pick for my most anticipated MCU release of the year. Disney can have a lot of fun with She-Hulk as a character, and she has quite a few interesting comic storylines. And that is it for the MCU schedule for 2022. As I've said, I expected it to be a little bit bigger. It definitely does not feel that crowded. But do let me know down in the comments which is your most anticipated MCU release of 2022 and beyond. While you are there, press that like and subscribe button. Press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded. And until next time, keep on watching movies, guys.